Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Some of the most picturesque settings in all of college football are in the Mid-American Conference. But when they tee it up, it's time for matching in the match. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Exciting matchup. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Willis from the seven. He's out to the 30. And he just got stood up right there. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Tromblay is the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. complete and he's hit right away did you see how he looked that ball into his hands that's how you catch a football got a man watch out here tackle around the 46 yard line Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys mince after the catch. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. That brings up second and one. tackled around the 32 yard line they go with the option and pick up the first down yeah and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself that's a good decision nice run and he's brought down that's a game of five on the that brings him second and five Turner takes it right side. And they make the stop around the 19-yard line. Part of the eight yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 19-yard line. First down. Mike 51. Mike 51. Here we go. Got some open field. Number 15, Michael Ryan. That's a game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Brought down around the five yard line. That's a game of two on the ball. Two times, two times. That brings in second and goal. Down he goes. 
the six yard line. That makes this third and goal. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. This one should be makeable. Ball State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up and he got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Check in on the Sunbelt Conference, a league that's a little underrated in terms of speed. And for UAB, they've won two straight. And for Robertson, he rushed for more than 150 yards. The Blazers finish on top, 34-31. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Gathered in at the six. And down he goes at the 31. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Taken down around the 50 yard line. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Stewart was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Brooks is the punter. Gets to about the 34-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Ball State is up a field goal. And he is drilled at the 27-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Steps out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That'll make it third and 13. Mike 51, Mike 51. Fires complete over the middle. And he's tackled around the 29 yard line. That brings us fourth and 15.
Singleton awaits the snap. Vincent fields it at the 39, and he's taken down at the 49. So at the end of one, Ball State leads 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Got an opening. Gets out to around the 28. A gain of eight on the carry. So the halfback gets the first down there with a five-yard carry. Pretty good run here. The tailback got the ball in the pitch out and did a nice job of following his blocker. Was able to pick up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the six. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Four-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. From the four-yard line, second down. for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That makes it 30 goal. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kent State is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks away, and it is good. Makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he carries a nice game. That's a D of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Complete. They got a hand on it. 
Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. You wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He fires left side, and he can't hang on to it. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. Vincent fields it at the 37. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Here we go! hit immediately that play was going nowhere yeah gave a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver second and six coming up here ball on the 48 yard line and they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look passes it to the middle of the field and he's level at the 38 it go caught with room to work what a play knocked out of bounds and that's going to be first and goal first down they've got four cracks at it inside the five it's first and goal Touchdown, Golden Flashes. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 52-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brooks is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wants to throw outside. And this one falls incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Number 18 on the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Brooks was his intended receiver on that play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Fires right side, got his tailback, and he's tackled in the open field. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Complete, he's got room, and he tackles him hard at the 50-yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is 
to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Tackle at the 43. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Receivers got the first down. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 16. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 15. Ball State's called their final timeout. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. I just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. And he has it on the corner. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. Kent State's up by 4. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Fielded at the nine. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Kent State is up by four. And they push him out at the 41. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Let's go. Red 18. Red 18. <laughs> Quick throw. Almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. midfield 
Good tackle there in space. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45. at the 30 he's at the 20 brought down around the 16 yard line from the 16 yard line it's first down five-yard line there's a player hurt it doesn't look to be that bad Kent State is up four he's taken down at the three and this play is number eight on the drive Golden Flashes had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Touchdown, Kent State! The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive line would just pancake the defense on that one. the extra point an eight play 72 yard drive and they get it in for seven and Brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running lines the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Willis fields it at the seven, gets to about the 24-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Tackle made right around the 40. Tally on the tackle at the 40 yard line. First down. Come on, Mike 51, Mike 51. He makes it to the 42-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Stevens brings him down at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and 10. to about the 41 yard line. That's a deep nine on the play. That brings up second and one. And he is drilled the 39 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. Hey, 
He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. He steps out at the 34. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. First down. Second and 14. Ball on the 23 yard line. He throws left. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. the PAT. So an 11 play, 78 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. Except the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Vincent from the three, working for the corner knocked out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Kent State holds a four-point lead. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Finally knocked out of bounds at the 26. First and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. his way to the 16-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Kent State's up by four. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. the 10-yard line. First down. They'll go with a run once again. Gets to about the 8-yard line. That makes it second and eight. K 
Kent State is up by four. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice seven play, 68 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Willis from the two. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Crystal Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. They're ready to begin another drive. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 12-yard line, second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle around the 43 yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Less than three minutes in the game. Quickly, he's got the tailback on another catch. They'll be looking for the end zone here. Third and goal from the nine. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They bring him down at the five. Booth picks up around five yards with that catch. Under pressure. Rose it on his caught for the touchdown. Touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game.
They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review, After review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. So the call on the field stands. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And they won't get the two. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. Tries to get around the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. Ball State's going to take their first time out of the half. From the 36-yard line, second down. He makes it to the 35-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. Ball State will take their second time out of the half. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. That's a deal one on the play. That brings up second and nine. He's at the 20. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. to the finish here today. 24-19, Kent State. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.